Hi, Mark Christiansen, your host of Amazing Foods TV. And I'm also the voice behind all the videos. I make all the videos and I eat lots. Well, I shouldn't say that probably in public, but I do, I do eat a lot. And I love food. Here comes another yummy, tasty video. This one put together just for you. Hey, be one of the first to comment on it. Also, subscribe to our channel if you haven't so far. And turn on that bell too, so you know when I put up these new videos. This is a real live channel, and coming soon, we may just invite you to show us how you cook on this channel. Hey, thanks for being here. Here comes your video. Ooh, wipe that saliva off, you're drooling. 10 foods that are highly fattening. If you're looking for some fresh superfoods that will help you lose weight, get fit, and simply better your health, then this is not the list for you. In today's video, we'll be looking at 10 foods that are highly fattening, and some might just surprise you. Fattening foods are, of course, directly linked to weight gain, but can also lead to other health concerns, some of which can have a severe and irreversible effect on your health and well-being. Let's get started. One, soda. Sweet, ice cold, and filled with fizzy deliciousness, sodas can be the go-to drink for many. But do you know what goes into your favorite bubbly beverage? Most sodas offer up very little in terms of nutritional value and are loaded with sugars, sweeteners, and artificial colors. Now, some fizzy drinks can even rack up to 160 empty calories in every single can. Not often seen as the bad guy, however, just one serving of soda a day can lead to significant spikes in glucose levels, the leading cause of high blood pressure, weight gain, and heart disease. Zero calorie options can make a healthier alternative, although their effects on our health are also heavily debated. Number two, sugar-sweetened coffee. Is there any better way to kick off an early morning than with a steaming hot caramel latte? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Well, if you're watching your waistline, the answer is yes. With around 1.4 billion cups poured every day, it would be safe to say that coffee's an incredibly popular drink. Can it really be all that bad? Well, filled with antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals, coffee can do wonders for your health when drank in moderation. It is only when mounds of sugar and flavored syrups are added that probably start to arise. A standard black Americano with one added sugar has around 12 calories, whereas a medium-sized, flavor-shotted latte has around 250. Quite the difference if you ask me. Regularly drinking sweetened coffee can quickly bump up your daily calorie count and definitely contribute to any unwanted weight gain. 3. Ice Cream Now, I'm sure this is one that many were hoping wouldn't find its way onto this list. However, the fattening dark side of this popular dessert cannot go unchecked. Egg yolks, cream, and sugar, the essential ingredients of the world's favorite frozen snack, ice cream. On their own, these ingredients aren't exactly healthy, but by putting all three together, you end up with something resembling a fattening trifecta. The perfect recipe for high calorie, sugar spikes, and a disappointed look at the scales. The next time you find yourself reaching for a tub of the good stuff, try giving frozen yogurt a go. It can be just as tasty and can contain as little as half the fat. Number four, takeaway pizza. Takeaway pizza, a true specimen of beauty, decadence, and wholesome goodness. An Italian classic that captures the hearts most and the waistline of all. Now, while pizza might just be the ultimate takeaway food, did you know that one slice of a medium pepperoni pizza contains around 215 calories? So after only a half a pizza, you're going to be tipping the scales at over 1,000 calories. Maybe not so ultimate after all. Takeaway pizzas are packed full of added salts, sugars, and oils intended to make up for the lack of fresh flavor. Tasty? Yes. Good for your health? Definitely not. This doesn't mean that you can't enjoy a great pizza on occasion. Just find the spots that use fresh ingredients and go a little lighter on the cheese. Better yet, why not give making them at home a go? It's easier than you might think. Five, donuts. Now let's move into something sweet. Donuts are certainly crowd pleasers and it's no secret that they're full of bad stuff. So if you like your stuff with jam, custard or cream, it might be time to start limiting your intake. 
Donuts are pretty much as fattening as it comes. A sweetened brioche, like donut, that's deep fried and dusted with sugar isn't exactly sin free. But adding chocolate sprinkles and double whip only adds fuel to the caloric fire. The fact that donuts usually come in multiple packs also makes this Moorish treat a Weight Watchers nightmare. Is there an alternative to a donut? Mmm, probably not. So, when you do treat yourself, go for the ones that are simply glazed instead of the ones that have been sugared, filled, and topped with a heap of other sugary gems. 6. French Fries A staple side dish when eating out, French fries are a no-brainer add-on to many dishes, especially fast foods such as burgers and hot dogs. And while they might be made from the humble potato, they can unquestionably not be held in the same realm as other sliced up vegetables. French fries are high in carbs, soaked in oil, and avalanched in salt. So it's no wonder that your average serving comes in about 450 calories a pop. Add that to an already high calorie meal and dunkings into sugar-filled ketchup? Need I say more? Number 7. Peanut Butter the peanut butter has quickly been making strides into the health food category in recent years, so it might surprise you to know that peanut butter can actually be incredibly fattening. Peanuts contain high amounts of healthy fats that are good for your heart, skin, and digestive system. They are an essential part of the diet. Good fats are still loaded with calories and should be eaten in small amounts. Over-refined nut butters are also paired with tons of sugar. So, it's always best to stick with the nothing-added natural varieties. 8. Milk Chocolate Chocolate is one of those foods that we all know is a little bit nasty, but hey, what's the harm in just another square or row? Well, taste and childhood nostalgia aside, milk chocolate is not something that you should indulge in too regularly. Milk chocolate is made out of cocoa nibs, cocoa butter, sugar, and refined oils, all of which contribute to the 240 calories found in an average-sized 44-gram bar. The high sugar content of milk chocolate also leads to spikes in blood glucose levels, which is known to lead to long-term weight gain and has links to developing type 2 diabetes. If you have a sweet tooth and nothing but chocolate is going to curb it, try opting for dark chocolate instead. Dark chocolate has all the taste of milk, but contains less sugar and is filled with antioxidants, which is why many consider it to be an unsuspecting superfood. 9. Fruit Juice I know what you're thinking. Fruit juice? Really? Often seen as a healthy alternative to fizzy drinks and alcohol. But did you know that many commercially branded fruit juices contain just as many calories as your favorite sodas, making them equally as fattening? The sweet taste of all fruits comes from a sugar called fructose. Now, there's a lot of debate surrounding fructose and its effects on our bodies. However, calories are calories, regardless of where they come from. Many fruit juice companies even add additional sugar into the mix, increasing sweetness and shelf life. But this also adds the negative impacts on drinkers' teeth and their weight. Fruits are full of vitamins and minerals, so definitely not something to be avoided. Just make sure that next time you're enjoying a glass, it's been freshly squeezed or at least contains no sugar. 10. Ready Meals and Convenience Foods Now last on our list, but certainly not least, did you know that those handy little ready meals that you can have served in under 10 minutes are amongst the most fattening foods out there? Well, don't worry if you didn't. Most people have no idea how bad these convenience meals really are. Ready meals are packed with salt, sugar, and fat, all intended to make them last for weeks on the shelf and ultimately make them taste good like the real thing. But don't let the clever packaging fool you. These microwave meals have little in common with the real deal. If you're in a crunch and ready meal is your only option, have a good read of the nutritional labels, as not all are created equal. None of them are going to be doing your health or weight any favors, so finding the one with the least fat and calories is certainly going to be your next best option. There we have it, our top 10 list of highly fattening foods. Regardless of your guilty pleasures, remember that it can be easy to find some fantastic alternatives, some of which are just as delicious. 
Typically, unhealthy foods can also be made less so, simply by making them yourself from home. And by making high-calorie foods from scratch, you can effortlessly control how much of what you put in and even swap our unhealthy ingredients for low-calorie alternatives. How do you describe food? Tasty, appetizing, scrumptious, yummy, delicious, delectable, mouth-watering, fit for a king, delightful, lovely, wonderful, pleasant, enjoyable, appealing, enchanting, charming. Just like Amazing Foods TV. Now that you're hungry, you probably shouldn't go to the store. You know what they say about shopping while you're hungry. But there is nothing wrong with leaving a comment for us or liking and subscribing to our channel while you're hungry. We appreciate all your support. If you have any ideas you want us to discover for a future video, leave those thoughts in the comments also. See you next time. Bon appetit!